All right, God bless you. Let me get this question. Let me get this question from YouTube. A good, a good question. A good question. Let me get this question. And I'm going to... <coughs> that would be good for you too. That's watching. All of you. Let me get this question. <coughs> we get questions... Quite often, and as I said before, any question you have on anything pertaining to Scripture, ask the question, we will give you an answer according to Scripture. Not according to your view, your opinion. We were talking to a preacher yesterday, and he was saying, well, I feel. <laughs> well, what you, what you feel is not Scripture. You got to say exactly what the scriptures say. All right. We got this question from this question from YouTube. And this comes from Lucian L-U-S-H-I-N W-U-N Lucian one. L Lucian or Lucian one. The question is, could you do a video concerning the 144,000? I'm sure she's talking about it in the book of Revelation. The 144,000. Let's do that. Lucian win or Lucian one or Lucian one. Here is your answer. And for the rest of you watching, this be good for you. Go to Revelations <clears throat> chapter 7. And let's begin with verse Three. Revelation 7 and 3. Well, I guess we can start with 7 and 1. Let's explain the 144,000. Some say that only 144,000 Israel, of the, of the Israelites, only 144,000 will be saved. Well, you need to do more study on that. It will be more than 144,000 Israelites say. It will be more than that. I know. Well, the Bible says it really 144,000. Yes, but let's see who these 144,000 were. And also the number that no man can number. It's going to be a greater number than that, say. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. And the, uh, uh, that the wind should not blow on the earth. No, no wind blowing on the earth. The, the, this is part of the wrath of God. Okay. Uh, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. No wind at all. And I saw another angel ascending out of the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. This is the wrath of God. Uh-huh. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, don't do it yet, nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. We're gonna put God's seal 
on the foreheads of the Israelites. Verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And they were sealed. And 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephtalon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. <coughs> Watch this. Watch this. And after this, I beheld the Lord great multitude with no man could number. Of all nations, of all nations, men from every nation and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white clothes and palms in their hands. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb. You see that? And all the angels stood round about the throne, and, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And one of the elders saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? Which came they? I, and I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, they shall thirst no more, neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne, you see that, shall feed them. The Lamb shall feed them. The Lamb shall feed them. The Lamb shall feed them. And shall lead them unto living fountain of waters. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. You see the Lamb and God. <laughs> the Lamb and God. All right. You see two numbers here. One number, no man can number. <coughs> Excuse me. Another number, the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel that's listed here. This is during this time in Revelation when the wrath of God is being poured out on the earth. This is during that time. During the time of the tribulation of the beast. During, this is during that time, the 12 tribe during that time that is to come. It's not here yet, but 12 tribe during that time. 
This number, that no man can number, this is doing the same time. Doing that time. Eh? Great fire tribulation. Jesus spoke about tribulation. This is doing that time. Now, the 12 tribes that, that is spoke about is doing the time during the tribulation period when the beast going to be here and all that and the wrath of God pulled out. The great multitude that no man could number. Now, now he had went into, into, it, although all these are combined, but he went into heaven. The 12 tribes is still on earth. Now, when he spoke about the number, no man can number from every nation, he had transferred and speaking about up in heaven, the 12 tribes on earth, during this time when the wrath to get ready to be pulled out on the earth, the wrath of God. During that time, it is more than 144,000 Israelites would be saved. The 12 tribes is during that time. What about the one that before that time? What about the one that followed Jesus before the beast get here? That's dead already. What about the one that obeyed the apostles? That dead already. Israelite. What about the Israelite that getting saved right now in our time? What about them? Many Jews obeyed the apostles. It was a remnant during the Apostle Paul time. It was a remnant it saved. During that time, during the Apostle Paul time. It was so everybody didn't reject Jesus. So that's during that time. It's more than 144,000. It's like going to be saved. But the 144,000 is during the time of the tribulation. When Jesus. Well, when the angel, rather, is getting ready to pour out the wrath of God on the earth. We read it during that time. But before that time get here, back in Jesus' day, there were Jews. There were Israelites, rather. Back in the Old Testament, there were Israelites that feared God. There are some that fear God now. Before the beast get here. So it will be more than 144,000. That 144 is talking about during that time. The 144,000. It will be more than 144,000 Jews or Israelites that's going to be saved. More. Because some have already gone on. Some alive now. But this group was talking about during that period in the future, during the last day, during the tribulation period and all that. Those are the 144,000 during that time. <laughs> all right. Let's leave you right there. God bless you. Question and answer. Thank you for hearing